All right. Shrugging. This is question one A from I think the 2010 paper, Unit One. Um, and if we look at this question, we're looking at the extraction of tungsten from tungsten oxide. Uh, the big clues, if you don't know, is state the role of hydrogen in this reaction. And it gives us a number of different things to look at. First of all, um, if I'm looking at this, I think, ooh, hydrogen, WO3, I need tungsten, and that'd be W by itself. So I'm probably going to be getting rid of the oxygen. Well, I am. So hydrogen must be acting as a reducing agent. And forgive the writing, because I get used to my brand spanking new pen. So hydrogen's acting as a reducing agent. And then we have to write an equation. Well, it's not so complex if you think that, well, what we want to do is we've got tungsten oxide, WO3. We're adding hydrogen to it. And it'll be hydrogen gas, which is the molecule. And what we will be forming is the metal, W. And, well, the only possible thing is water, H2O. So now we have to, after looking at that, is balance it. Well, me being me, I look straight at the water, at the oxygen atoms. I've got three here. And if water molecules contain one oxygen atom, and if I've got three oxygen atoms here, I'm going to need three water molecules because that will give me a total of three oxygen molecules, which is the same here as here. If I've got three oxygen molecules, three water molecules, I'm going to need six hydrogen atoms which means three hydrogen molecules on this side. Okay, state one risk of using hydrogen gas in metal extractions is the reason why I go into chemistry. It blows up. Well, there's a risk of it blowing up. And there you go.